Okay, the next drill you're going to see us doing is a drill we like to call step down shots. In our offense, a lot of times our players start from one side of the field and they come across to the other side and they step down to an, a feeder, whether it's an attackman or a midfielder that's dodging from behind the goal. Okay, so you're going to see in this drill the balls will again be onto the side left side, excuse me, to the side left of the goal, and the, the players will locate themselves to what we would like to call top right of the goalie. The goaltender was in here, this would be the top right spot. Okay? And when, when this player steps away, ready to feed, this player will curl to the position. He won't come straight across. Okay? The reason he doesn't come straight across is because if he comes straight across, he's going to receive the ball moving east-west, and we don't want him to receive the ball loaded moving towards the sideline. So it's really important that we teach this bananaing to the ball or curling to the ball. And again, we want him to receive the ball loaded, same philosophy. Exchanging your weight, stepping, da stepping down, hands are back, falling forward, front foot pointed to the far pipe. We're trying to shoot to that outside third of the goal for this first progression of shooting. Okay? We will again then move the, goal to, uh, move the balls to the left side of the cage and they will shoot left handed doing the same thing. It's really important when you do these drills that you emphasize to your players that they should always shoot righty and lefty. Okay? You can't get better unless you're working with both hands. It's really important. Now, As they set this drill up, again, it, it's all in the progression of what we're getting to here. This is room and time shooting. It's not necessarily mobility shooting. It's when you have room and time to get your hands free. Now we're going to back them up a little bit. We're going to have uh, guys with the balls. We're going to have uh, Jordan Wolf over here. And he's gonna, we're going to back him up to maybe 10 yards now, right about here. And when Josh Dion steps away, that'll signify to Jordan a curl. It's a little bit of a banana cut. And he's going to come around here with his hands back. And he's going to do the same exact thing, just a little further away. Okay? Again, the passer makes the feeder. The most important part of this drill is to make sure he, when he bananas this, or he curls to the ball, when he receives the ball, he's loaded with his hands back and has his momentum going towards the goal. We don't want his momentum going towards the sideline. That wouldn't help. Here we go. And the same coaching cues. One more, I want the ball. Step away means I'm feeding. I'm no longer a dodger. See, some of these feeds are real good. So the boys are able to be accurate when they're shooting. Again, the far pipe miss is a good miss in this drill because that's what we're working on. We're not really concerned with accuracy other than simply hitting the back third of the goal. Because that means our feet are pointed where we want them pointed. Now when the feet is on the wrong side of their body, they have to turn around and then refocus their accuracy. It doesn't work well. So the feeder makes the shooter. Good job there. A lot of times when I'm watching this, I can tell from simply the feed if the ball is going to be an accurate shot or not. Same thing, left side. 